I used to be confused by the term CRM. I wasn't sure what problem it solved or exactly what it did. Hi, I'm Ruben, the owner of Touchdown Tech, and I've been using the Groundhog CRM for a year and a half now. And I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, stick around to the end of this video because I do have a freebie that I'm gonna give away relating to choosing your CRM. Anyway, uh, I've used different CRMs. I tried HubSpot, MailChimp, Constant Contact, looked at Zoho, probably looked at three to five other ones pretty closely, and finally settled on Groundhog because it was so tightly integrated to our website. It's a CR, uh, it's a plugin that is in our web website. You can see it on the left-hand side here. If you have a WordPress website, which most of the world, uh, most small business owners do. And the reason that I, I tried some of those other softwares and didn't stick with them is because they were confusing. They had confusing terminology um, and it was just hard to understand what the different things were. The pricing plans were confusing. It, it was just, we, we tried constant contact for probably about six months and then uh, just didn't love it. And then finally found um, Groundhog and have really been happy with it. It's, it's powerful but simple. So over on the left-hand side, you can see the Groundhog menu here. And uh, one reason I really do like that it's tied to our website is that we have our content on our website and we also have our, our messaging system on our website. We don't, have to, we don't have to go somewhere else to send out our emails or SMS. We can do it all from our website. And here's, this is just a sample website that I built for training purposes. Um, so I didn't, I don't have any SMS set up. I just have the email, but kind of the core functionality, um, of any CRM, um, down to the core is you have contacts, you have a way to organize your contacts. And what I love about Groundhog is they do it really easily with tags. So you can apply tags to contacts and then organize them, segment them and send emails out to contacts based off those applied tags. So we can have tags for a, uh, you know, product of interest for the customer. We can have tags for an, uh, an action that they've done with us in the past. Maybe they purchased a certain product. So we actually, for one of our clients, we have a follow-up campaign. And so based off of the category that a customer purchases throughout the year, we'll send follow-up emails offering um, different cross sales that might that are that are relevant to them. Uh, anyway, let, let's go back. So the kind of the core functionality of a CRM is you have your contacts, and then you have a way to organize them tags, and then you have emails. Um, and emails are used kind of in two different ways. They're they're used in funnels. Funnels are automations or sequences. That's what I was talking about with the follow up um, automation or funnel. Um, but then they're also, you can also just send a, a broadcast out to everyone. And so that would be broadcast right here. So emails are used in broadcasts and in funnels. Um, <clears throat> another reason that I, I love Groundhog and why it's our CRM of choice is because it's so tightly integrated with other plugins on our website. For example, WooCommerce, um, Lifter LMS, uh, which is a training, um, plugin, learning management system plugin, and affordability. It is more affordable than most of the other CRM options out there. And that actually relates to the freebie that I'm going to be giving away here. Um, for, for way less than $50 a month, you can purchase a Groundhog plan, an email sending service, and uh, a bonus tool that just even increases the integration with Groundhog to the rest of your website. It's called WP Fusion, and you don't need that. And probably to get started, I would encourage you to go without it, but I have a freebie with links to those three different plugins that you need, including the different plan that you need for each one of those, because all each all three of those have different plans that you could get. So uh, that freebie just kind of breaks it down, has a link to the pricing page, and kind of explains why um, this package is, in my opinion, the best one to go for. So let's just click around here a little bit. I kind of show you what, what Groundhog looks like. So if I go to contacts, I just have a list of all the contacts. I can go and filter these by a bunch of different criteria. 
Um, so let's say I want to, uh, and I, I just have a few contacts in here because this is a sample website, but let's say um, I want to uh, filter everyone that has the notifications and updates tag applied. So I can search in here for tag and then um, I need to print a value here. So I want notifications and updates. Hit the check mark there and it says uh, I've got six contacts. So let's click show six contacts. So that refreshes and shows those six contacts. Now I could also um, further um, uh, filter this by let's say maybe their first name equals or contains John. You can see I have a couple different Johns here, or I have. Let's say it contains John one. That would be two of these contacts. So, John one. Filter that. Now we just have two contacts here. Uh, and if I want to, I can actually save this search for future uses and actually send an email out to this saved search. So I'm just going to hit save here. I'm just, just going to say uh, demo saved search. And typically, typically what I do, I call this dynamic. I just append dynamic there because this is a dynamic search. Every time I go to use this list, it, it performs that, that filtering again and just brings up those contacts that uh, match those, that criteria. So then in the future, if I'd want to, I can go over here to load saved search. I can click demo saved search and that just shows those two contacts. Um, so tags here, I have a very specific naming convention for tags. I do have a video about this that you can check out. Um, and it's just an organized way to, um, yeah, different, yeah, an organized way to use tag naming so that it's scalable, so that it makes sense for you and for anyone that might be working for you. And then we have emails as well. So I can click add new email and um, I just click start writing here. So I'll bring up a copy of that email. You can see copy up here. So I can rename this new email and put in my subject. Let's get rid of this here. Put in my subject here. And I can uh, add a preheader if I want to. Um, I can write the email in here. And what else? I can say who it's coming from. But if we have different people that might be sending the emails, we can save this as a template for future use, which I do this I'll often write in um, kind of the general idea, what we want to say in an email. And then when I go to write the real email, I'll just replace kind of that explanation text with what it, we're actually trying to say. And I usually like to center this here. We can save it. Then if I want to see how this looks sent to, to me, I do an update and test, and it'll send it to my email so I can review it, look at it on my phone to kind of get an idea, make sure it looks good on mobile as well. And then once I'm ready, I just go up here to broadcast. Then it automatically has that email selected. So I click next. Uh, ask me when I want to send it. Do I want to send it now or do I want to schedule it for sometime later? And then uh, who do I want to send it to? So I can use the save search, the one that we just did a little bit ago, that demo save search. And then we can review it and then confirm and send. We'll send the email. So obviously I don't want to do that. Uh, and that, this is where broadcasts are. So um, I can't, that one was canceled. So it didn't, uh, it's not listed here under scheduled or sent. And then funnels. This is where we do different automations. Like if someone downloads a, a freebie, if someone um, maybe makes a purchase, on our website, we can have a funnel that sends a follow-up email asking for a review maybe next year. Depending on the lifespan of that product, it may make sense to offer that product again in a year from that purchase date. And so you can have a funnel that automatically does that. So uh, I know I went through a bunch of different stuff here, but uh, I hope I provide some value for you. And if you want that CRM software guide, there's a link down below. You can click on that and then you can... Um, uh, it'll, it'll have a little description in the pricing on the on the the plan that I would get to start off with. So it's it's actually I said less than fifty dollars a month. You can actually do it for about twenty dollars twenty dollars a month, um, and and often they actually have a special deals going on. I know usually Groundhog has a fifteen percent off coupon that you can it'll pop up just by being on their website. They can take advantage of. Um, 
And once once a year, WP Fusion has a sale on Black Friday that is for, I think, 30% off. So if you want to wait for that Black Friday sale. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Check out the link below uh, for that free CRM software guide. And if you enjoy this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, please leave a comment below.